Yeah, this is your boy Anthony McMiller. You can follow me on Twitter at Earth the Jerk W I U. Yeah, I'm finna do a poem today. I'm finna actually do two poems today, written by two of my most favorite artists. My first poem is called Dating Myself by Poetry. And it goes like this. Everywhere I go, I see ugly people with cute people. And I can't help to ask them, why does she see in this guy? Inner beauty, well, I have a whole lot of that. I see these happy couples, and I used to think, what do I have to do to get a girl like that? Then that evolved into, what do I have to do to get a girl? Now I'm exhausted of thinking, fatigued on trying to convince myself that I'm worthy of another being, tired of looking, but not really looking, so it doesn't appear that I'm desperate, weary of being afraid of to tell somebody that I'm interested. In fear that they will avoid me, consumed from being alone, no longer will I be at the mercy of ladies to like me. No longer will I be trying to look my best for women that don't know that I am in love with them. And more old. Yes, from now on, I am dating myself. I already talked to myself, so I know my conversation will be good. I always said that I wanted to be with somebody that's just like me. Well, there's no one more like me than me. That's not like I'm dating my cousin or nothing. I looked it up. There's nothing in the law books that says a man, man couldn't date himself. I don't know why I don't think of this before. I amaze myself sometimes. I laugh and joke with myself. On lonely days praying. Hard for better days. Now we can get through the rough times together. No one will oppress but myself. I probably still will play games with myself. Cry with myself. Lie to myself. Because I hate to hurt myself. It's feelings. I'll only be looking out for myself though. But you'll know how women are once they see you with somebody. All of a sudden now, they want to get with you. All of a sudden, I'm that cute guy. That is dating someone now. I assure you I'm not doing this to make other women jealous. I'm completely happy with myself. I like myself. I mean things. I'm attractive. I plan to be with myself till the very end or until somebody better comes along. And that's the first poem. I believe that that poem, why well, I like that poem so much, because it's dedicated to all the single people out here that feels like they don't have nobody out here in their lives. But of course this poem, if you just believe in God and love yourself, you'll be happy even though you have that craving to want to have a girlfriend or boyfriend. So the next poem I'm finna read is by a person named Georgia Me, and a poem name is Sister to Sister. Okay. Why must you show ass? Why not you have some class? Do you want to be lust after or respected? And y'all wonder why real niggas reject you. You even wonder why a sister be thinking, why she in the club shaking her ass, drinking, drinking, and shaking till her ass is fucked up. But then she stuck when she lucked up on a nigga that just don't care. He want to cut her up and pull her out the hair. She wears the blonde weave, teeth about four feet, styled in a fan. Got it done by a nigga she claiming her man. But she got a man why she in the club. Let niggas molest her. She think that shit's love. But it's not love. It's lust. But she wants that attention. She needs it from men. Never knew her daddy had to mention. That's cute to why a real nigga she never knew were her loveless self. There's no time for a man what she'll do. She'll shake. She'll smile. She'll lie. She'll luck. She'll drop. She'll lick. She'll swallow, she'll suck. Nigga can see this by her demeanor. 
He shows her some interest, so she's eager. He's not convinced about how to pleasure her. He'll use her even through her. Resource are meager, damn schemer, but when you act like a hoe, you get pimped. When you be in play for a fool, a sucker, a simp, letting these fake niggas blow you up like a blimp. He'll never want you for his queen, just the temp. Now take the $60 to the Pinky Fox and get your weave crimped. Look at you. Buy clothes just to impress. People who aren't of good character paying $140 for an outfit where you make $200. That's a factor your priorities are all wrong. Well, things are the cost of freezing. Waiting an hour and a half to get at the Club 559. With his skirt right below your butt cheeks. Sister shake that head. Brother holler freak. If you ain't cutting, you ain't speaking. He ain't speaking unless you freak it. He hook up with you the next weekend to sit and chat and spend some games to you. Him and figure, hey, he's not a lame. So you fuck him and don't even know his full name. When he doesn't call you back, you feel ashamed. I bet that's my sister. I feel your pain, sister, sister. Now, the only reason why I like this poem is because I feel like it spits real stuff to people, especially out here to these reckless girls out here doing whole type things. The basic message to that poem is, if you act like a hoe, you'll get treated like a hoe, just like I said in this poem. So, you know, this is just a simple video, you know, just to breathe some two of my favorite poems that I read recently, though. And again, you can follow me on Twitter at EarthTheJerkWIU and leave your comments up under the video and tell me what you think. Peace.